Admiral Dreadnought's episode. And this is again with the Chinese campaign. Ah, fun. Ah. Oh, God. Fuck this, people. Damn it, I've just now put this on a YouTube list because I swore within the first 30 seconds. Ah, oh, great. Anyway. We are back in this war. I have moved on a turn so then I could try and peace treaty again with the Americans, which I have selected. And I'm now just going to move on the other turn. Also, you will notice that um, we have one less Venti the Bard and instead it's been replaced by an Albedo class, which is because I've realised a minor fatal mistake I made with this, uh, with the Venti the Bards, which is making me just decide that, well, to make the design not be useless and the admittedly long time I spent designing it useless, I instead have um, just gotten rid of the second ship and then used the same tonnage for, um, well, less tonnage, I mean, I think. Yeah, less tonnage, but for a more, but for a capable class of ships we already know work. Now, the Americans didn't listen. See if the Japanese would listen, considering the fact that we're ahead on victory points with Japan. Maybe they would listen to a peace treaty offering. ships. Well, at least I'm the one here who is trying to get a peace treaty out of these wars. Let's go for the Americans again. I would love if I could take the Rhode Island off the Americans because that particular ship, Rhode Island, has been a massive thorn in my side. <laughs> because of the fact that Rhode Island is most known now for killing Tataglia, which is our strongest battleship. We well, the strongest battleship alongside a sister ship that we have. And I think I may have to refit the surviving member of the Tataglias with a slightly lighter gun armament, but then ensure that the protection on the ship is increased.
I say we could fight this. Our destroyers are well capable of killing one of their destroyers. Especially if it's the super destroyers. Because, yeah, our super destroyers, they are great at killing people. <laughs> Although not so great on the catching them up. So, Super Destroyer, Super Destroyer, actually no, this isn't a Super Destroyer, it's one of the Gentans. They're all Gentans here. Which are not the Super Destroyers, they're the Gunboat Destroyers. We got the Gunboat Destroyers here instead of the Super Destroyers, but still, it's better than <laughs> nothing, and it's I'm thinking better than their capability on the enemy destroyer. But yeah, it's Gentan here is one of those destroyer designs where your crew are blind from the conning tower and have to actually use the monkey island. Have to either use the monkey island at the top of the conning tower there or the bridge wings. Okay, we've got a rough location of where they are. Shell types we use to high explosive to repeat it are to not be used. Gintan is taking the lead against these targets. Torpedoes are set to save. And they fire at their torpedoes. Gintan is going against Hawkins. Aggressive on your torpedoes, please. End the battle, end the battle, end the battle before any of my ships sink. That should hopefully convince the Americans that we are still not going to back down on our peace requests. But also prove that, yeah, they may want to actually obey the requests
But yeah, I'm hoping those peace treaty requests complete before we encounter Rhode Island again. Which, encountering Rhode Island would actually take a while because... In Tartaglia's last stand, she did at least do some pretty hefty damage against the... Rhode Island beforehand. Ah, there go the British. How is their invading us via Mongolia doing? <laughs> Horribly. Okay, so... How about with Japan, we go and ask you for a peace treaty? With the way is back! Battleship way is back! Which, um, for those viewers blissfully unaware, the Battleship way has been single-handedly the most effective warship in the Chinese Navy. Just to think, I almost scrapped her. <laughs> Just to think, I almost scrapped her in construction because of the, um, things. Uh, budgetary issues. That's what it is. Now uh, this is one of the super destroyers. Which will be used to do spotting for the way. There's their battle cruiser. With 16 inch guns. And it's weird 8 inch gun placements as well. Okay, the way is just open fire. Which they still have their seasoned crew, which is good news, considering the fact they'd been under repair and stuff for ages. Good to see that their crew are still seasoned. We've even brought on an observer. And there's a light cruiser, but we are focusing everything towards the battle cruiser. Holy hell, I don't want to get close to that light cruiser. Getting close to that light cruiser is basically, uh, do you see torpedo boats? I do. And it's actually true on seeing torpedo boats, and it would be, uh, oh god, they're sending hundreds of torpedoes towards us. Well, not hundreds, but there's still quite a lot on that torpedo broadside. They can't even open fire on us and we're opening fire on them and getting hit against them. <laughs> I 
So yeah, we had a ricochet and an overpen. There's them opening up. What's the... We're not in the cruise torpedo range, that's good. Okay, the destroyer is coming round towards the... Japanese battle cruiser. Here come all the guns. Poor Otago. You didn't even get anything against me. <laughs> you know what? Let's keep it like that. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. They're going to be retreating anyway. Let's just get out of here. So that's a targo sunk for no damage. No damage whatsoever. But yeah, the only blocks two sh they only ricocheted two shells. We had four of the shells pen, we've had twenty two over pen. And we had six partial pens. I say mission success. Japan do you want to um, reconsider your options of war Right on, sir. That's another Japanese battle cruiser sent to the bottom. 
and Japan has signed a peace treaty. We'll take the Northern Marianas off of here. Never mind. Never mind, you keep Saipan. Okay, the United States of America. Let's see again if you can get a peace treaty before December 7th when the Japanese bomb you to death. <laughs> well, bomb your battleships to death. Oh wait, no, the aircraft don't exist in this reality, so... Yeah, the um, Americans can't be bombed. Thanks, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's reality on having no aircraft. It's actually an ocean liner nerd's dream world as well, then, with no aircraft. Because then it means that ocean liners still a viable thing and yep negotiations failed yet again i'm thinking as we haven't really done much against germany nor have they done much against us no one can get any sort of bad things from peace treaties so Frederick de Grosse, of the Germans has just been laid down, um, of the Yorick class, <sighs> which means there's a Yorick out in play, okay. You guys go into Limited and the Tentacular class goes to the Mothballs. Then everyone else here goes to Limited as well. Those are the newer light cruisers. Now the older light cruisers. Oh yeah, Danes has had a refit to the original design. There goes. So Tagler's had a refit to the original design. There goes. Okay, so we are in a budgetary nightmare state because the Americans seem to have gotten off scot-free from our war, so... I'm going to increase our tensions with them and we are going to force another war with the Americans. That's reduced. That's reduced. The Albedos are not being sent to mothballs. That guy's going to take four months to repair. 
got three more Albedos coming as well though, so... Uh, But yeah, we are not selling off the last Tattaglia class battleship. <laughs> Regardless of what some people may think, we're not getting rid of it. Getting rid of it is pretty much a uh, non-option. And the Americans have gone down. Yep. Once that repairing one battleship is completed, I'm refitting the old light cruisers after, god, ages, then they should have been refit. Looks like Japan is about to take R the Russian Far East or the Japanese Northwest by this point, I should say. Still, I hate they took Manchuria off us. Whatever little help that was being to us. But yeah, we've got the West Philippines, and I'm thinking if we go to war with the Americans again, it will be time to take the East Philippines, which I think I should have done when I originally went to war with them in the first place. That would have been the better idea, but... Two more turns in the wing is... Out of repair and into the limited fleet. It seems that the heavy rain in my area has stopped. <clears throat> yeah, radar surveillance, okay. And uh, no, you're awesome, an empire, you're not getting a, a new um, ship from us because. The US broke their alliances. Now's actually our best chance to pretty much catch them with their pants down and with no alliances to for them to worry about, we should set ourselves onto the warpath with them. Traitors have 
down Secret passage to our land Your hands made the way is shaded And the loss forever Sparta Hey us Then and again Sing a three hundred bed Slaughter Persians Glory and death Spartans will never surrender So, these guys are our current class of light cruisers. Well, old class of, older class of light cruisers, I should say. They're as cheap as chips. I think they're actually cheaper, but... <laughs> no, they're not, but... Compared to the other ships in my navy, they're cheapest ships. Yeah, going down the gear turbines doesn't really change the cost, so... Should be fine. That's increased our cost. That doesn't really have much of a change in the cost. Increased high explosive. TNT4. Powder 2 would be the best option here. Now nah, keep 21 inch on the torpedoes. Have them be oxygen fueled. You get better there. Your torpedo number gets reduced. Your radar range hiding goes up. You keep your RDF systems, but you are being downgraded from anti-submarine warfare patrolling duty and you are losing your torpedo armaments slightly and your old guns are being ripped out for new ones The triple six inch thirty eight caliber guns. Then again though, it's not going to be all the ships of this class that gets this refit. Yeah, 
I just keep easels? Or, now nah, I got a much better idea, much more profitable idea. Much, much more profitable because it will get them off my hands, but it will also. It will also give. Um, our minor allies some pretty decent light cruisers say pretty decent so yeah that design is going to be deleted and then the old light cruisers. Set crew zero. All the old light cruisers. They have done their service. Whatever amount of it they had. They've cost us money and they are now going to be a different nation's cost to deal with. September goes to October, I believe. Is Spain having problems with us? Yes, you can buy the light cruisers, but you are not by any means going to get the battleship. The battleship is exclusively for our use. Yes, you can take that light cruiser and the British are back. Oh God, they picked Liverpool. The idiots picked Liverpool to go back to. All the places Liverpool. Better 17 inch guns. It's making me think maybe 17s would be better to refit the surviving Tataglio down to.
a Sino 1937. I... I still had the Sino design? Holy hell, I do! Yeah, that's, uh... Ah, December 1941, and there's no war between America and Japan. That's shocking. Partially. But then again, I don't know why I'm actually so shocked. Right. Yep. We're good here so far. Things are going well. <laughs> I've just remembered this morning I made a bit of a controversial posting in the well in a group of ocean liner nerds because there was a whole thing going on in a nut in a post I made about um ocean liners being turned into hotels because I was mentioning that and the story and how it may make a good hotel or something like that and then someone started a whole thing about Queen Mary and then was like oh but Queen Mary can't be can't be profitable if it's in the state it's in and that's where the controversial bit comes in because I then stated after that that um, most likely what it is is that the funds were mismanaged because why would a city spend as much money as they have well, Long Beach specifically spend as much money as they have on repairing Queen Mary if it wasn't profitable it's just that the profit Queen Mary did have was mismanaged horribly. take the old light cruisers off of us you're giving us money anyway 
Yeah, and that's the last of those two. Gone. It's the last of them gone. Interesting. Looks. I've also put another post in that ocean liner forum thing that I'm part of and um, that was on um, if you could save any ocean liner what one would it be? My two choices were the I don't properly know how to say its original name but I know its other names. The the Victoria, Victoria and Victorian Princess which is a sh originally a Union Castle line ship which then became a Chandras line ship later on in its life and served for 58 years in service and the other is Nui Ad the Dam. Which, for those of you unaware, Nui Amsterdam was a Dutch ocean liner, which was one of the few ocean liners to still be successful despite the um, advancements of air travel. Building new ships is still ongoing. Which one of the ungoverned territories? Oh, Wahiwe. Well, looks like we're taking that over then.
like to provide goods free. Right. We are going to fight the Americans. So then I'm going to add new Tartaglia to the front of this because I'm going to get confused between which Tartaglia it is. So yeah, in mid construction, she gets renamed the new Tartaglia to avoid confusion in the Navy between the Tartaglias. there Emperor of Finland I've only just come back into the Twitch chat from looking at responses to a controversial post I made in a Ocean Liner forum well controversial reply to a comment in a post I made I should say in terms of tech we're doing okay well we're very behind but this is the most advanced I've ever been in a campaign so I don't care. I'm currently trying to go to war with the Americans again because in the last episode we went to war then earlier this episode we declared peace but I only declared peace with Germany and the Americans were like oh we're going to take this as a declared peace and I don't lose anything. Yeah I absolutely hated that option and uh, as you can see I'm trying to get to war with them again. Also, the British have collapsed, unfortunately. Well, they collapsed and then reformed in Manchester. Of all the cities, they just had to take back Manchester. <sighs> so in this reality, the monarchy don't live in London. No, 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 no. They live in Manchester. No, I don't want a strengthened relationship with the stupid Americans. They're too incompetent for their own good. Uh, why am I actually saying that when uh, Rhode, when one of their premier battleships, Rhode Island, has um, sunk the lead of my two super battleships? with four quad 18 inch guns. Who knew 17 inch guns were better than 18 inch guns? I didn't. Okay, from right gas turbines. Okay. My personal annoyance. Well, my personal annoying to the Brit. Uh, the Americans are not doing much. Now. I'm going to try and improve relationships with the Manchester with the, with the Manchester and Liverpool sort of people here. There is the remains of the British Empire. <laughs> well, 
I take territories that used to be theirs. Hold on a second. How can we just got a massive positive budget boost? Is it because uh, some nation like, I don't know, America is uh, they're going to declare war on us so they've increased our defense budget to prepare for that? Okay, policies. The United States of America. Increased. Germany's got the biggest. Holy shit, that's unexpected. Germany has the biggest GDP of everyone. And that's why we've gone to positive. Our docks are finished building up more. Okay then, use that budgetary increase well, and go for research. I may be stopping the stream soon so I can get something to eat, although I don't know yet. Uh, the Brits are laying down a whole bunch of new ships. But do, do they think they'll be able to return? November is not given as any increases much. Interested indeed. Auxiliary diesels, electrics, and then what submarine improvements? Detonators and that as well is improved naval shells. Okay, December of nineteen forty two. Rings along, not much.
policies. The Americans I want to increase my tensions with. So I'll actually research, go for big guns so that I can potentially get the better 18 inch guns to fit Tartaglia. The good old Tartag. Okay. That's Nita Taglia and one of the other Albedos out. It's the last of the Albedos. It's the last of them. Connects to charts. Refuse got the better. Does anyone think I'm gonna give out one of my top tag leaders at my own free will? Now, nah, mate, you're thinking of someone else, someone who actually wants to give out battleships to everyone who asks for them. <laughs> I'll save that for a British campaign. It would be historically accurate for a British campaign of giving everyone ships. <laughs> but then spending the money then having to buy back those ships because that there's a war going on. Increase tensions with the Americans again. We have a new area under our control, which is good news for us because reasons. Right. Once our battleships get commissioned, I'm going to park them off the eastern Philippines. And once 
war with the Americans is declared, we go for the Eastern Philippines. I think we've got enough of the battleships in commission that we can... Start up our invasion fleet preparations. Which our preparations include having to unmothball you, unfortunately for our costs. We're unmothballing you and we are prepping up for a refit of yeah. Oh god, tech budget goes down to account for this fleet. We gotta account for the fleet. This one, the newer Albedos. It's the newest, seen as it's still in commission. Ning, period. But yeah, we are going to pre prepare our invasion plan. Even sending you to Taglia, which is one of the second batch of Albedos. Okay, policies. We don't need to do any more tension prop uh, sortings with the Others yet. Uh, okay. I'm going to need to do some budget reduction somewhere, and that somewhere is tech budget. This one's no question. Well, Twitch chat, I did not expect that a group of ocean liner nerds would, of all ships in history, wanted Great Eastern preserved. Increase our tension with the United States of America. Oh, they better not have Rhode Island in that fleet. For those of you blissfully unaware, Rhode Island is Amer the Americans' response to Tartaglia. Which Rhode Island has 10 17 inch guns in five twin turrets. Whereas Tataglia's is 16 18 inch guns in four turrets. So. And yes, my Tartaglias and the Rhode Islands have fought against each other. 
and the resultant there was um, that the Tertaglia did unfortunately sink, but it wasn't for lack of us not trying. <laughs> what actually happened was um, Tertaglia's crew were not competent at firefighting, it seems, because it was fire that destroyed Tataglia, not, not anything else, fire. Fire, to begin with the dance of the dead, black and dizzy, yeah, to begin with the dance of the dead, cover my world black and... Yeah. Black and like one of my favorite Metallica songs. Ah, uh, destroyer vs. destroyer. Hopefully the fight goes how it normally does, auto resolved as it does when I do the battles. No, it didn't. Why is I directed over here? Okay, so... These guys are going to move you still within the invasion area, but slightly a bit out of range of their mines. Okay, I want more light cruisers. I want more destroyers. I want more of everything. I can't though because I don't have the budget. July goes to August. Okay, how come we are losing uh, that much money? Are they blockading us or what? They can't be blockading us. We still have the ability to do trade and everything. Then why are we losing so much money? Is our GDP crashing or something? Fuck. They're Rhode Island classes. And they're bloody fast things. Okay. This is going to be... Finally, someone in the response to that question I put in that ocean liner group thing that um, I expected Aquitania. Right, so the battleship Way here is familiar with everyone. Her crew are veterans. This is one of the newer Albedos, so yeah. I want way in charge of that. I want way in charge of the squadron, so then you join the way and get into formation that way. Okay, the destroyers are all together and they are going to be used as our scouting force for the finding the Rhode Island class battleships. Right, 
we have to be careful though. As we're up against two of the bloody things, and I know, I know how bad the Rhode Islands are in terms of their damage they can deal. Like, one of the things I desperately want to take off the Americans is, Rhode, is any of their Rhode Island class battleships. Actually, as we already know how dangerous they are, and even with the veteran crew aboard way, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk I don't want to risk losing such a veteran crew just for just for trying to get revenge over a ship that was lost years ago by this point. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. The radar returns identify the battleships as Rhode Island class and we and we have specific orders that unless we have an overwhelming force we are not to engage any Rhode Island class battleships because the Rhode Island class like I said are deadly They're deadly, and I have, I have never had a ship survive against them. Then again, I've only encountered them once, so, but that ship that did go against them was like our most advanced battleship, so, yeah. You can definitely tell why I'm a little bit uh, hesitant to send the crew of aces. Out against the Ro any Rhode Island class battleship. If we had a couple more of our battleships here, maybe even the surviving member of the Tataglia class, I would have fought against them, but. Or if it was only just a singular one of the Rhode Islands, I would have fought against it, but. No, just because of how many were there. You guys are going to form up in the Yellow Sea here with the surviving Tataglia class ship and a couple of light cruisers. You guys are coming down here and going to form up with the battleship force there. Now, I quickly want to check policies and see if anyone is close to wanting to go to war with me. France is... oh god. It's a good thing I don't have to do any ship repairs. Or worry about submarines, but I'm gonna have to worry about... stuff. 
elsewhere. Up is a highway, down the red it all night long. And if you're going my way, and I want to ride it all night long. God, I just... So struggle, a convoy, and submarine. Okay. Where is my massive fleet gone? Um, okay, my massive fleet just disappeared off the map there. And my budget is uh, downward spiraling. <laughs> Not good when you just got into a war. We have good anti-submarine stuff here. You're not getting my ships. Okay, you lightly damaged her. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. No, I want to retreat from that. Shit. That is why, viewers, I never send my ships against the Rhode Island class battleship. Venti the Bard, and it's against an Australian. It's a, it's a transport defense, and the Venti's, the Venti's our newest battleship, and it's, I don't think it, well, in terms of how much you can fire down range, it's got a better firing rate than 16, than 17 inch guns, but. And in terms of number of barrels, we've got, uh, seven quad turrets, isn't it? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven quad turrets, so seven times four is, uh, sixteen is five, no, twenty side ties, twenty-one, no, 24, 28, 32 16-inch guns, if I'm correct. Uh, 4, 8, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. 28 guns, what I mean. Hold on a second, let me get a calculator. I should be remembering this stuff. Then again, I um, haven't had need for much of it since I completed my GCSEs last year. Uh, 7 times 4, 28, yeah, 28. more guns than them. And we're a lower caliber, but... And we have no secondaries. But 18 more guns, that's... Good enough, I say. And we've got a very, very thick armor belt. So... Yeah. And worst case, these things are 4.7 inch guns, they could be sacrificed. There it is, there's the Rhode Island class battleship. Now, Venti here is going against our doctrine's orders, 
when encountering one of these battleships. But it's because, really, the doctrine... The doctrine has a bit of a conflicting order in them. Because the, conf the conflict in order is that the Doctrine wants us to defend transports, but also the Doctrine says for us to run away from any Rhode Island class battleship that is ever encountered. So it's like a double-edged sword the Doctrine is. So that's an Australian cruiser right there, worst fight is. Which, if I can take down the war spy quickly, then... But war spy's playing it smart by going high explosive shells against the battleship with a main belt that it could not penetrate. Although, they didn't play it smart enough. Because... They're gone. Although, something makes me think they were able to get torpedoes out before they sank. But yeah, for those of you viewers who don't know, Colorado here is a member of the Rhode Island class of American super battleships, which the, I've encountered the Rhode Islands once before in the previous war I've had. And these things are horrible to go up against. Like, I think their only weakness really is their... Actually, no, their secondary guns they've done well for as well. But... Yeah. What I'm finding surprising is that a more capable battleship than the Venti here had gone against this well, the namesake of this class beforehand, and lost. But then again, it lost because it caught fire during the battle, and that fire wasn't able to be put out. For Colorado here, Colorado hasn't been able to set fires with the Venti. The War Spike did, but Venti has put out the fires. Yeah, their guns can't fire. That's good. That is good news. Their guns can't fire right now. They're too bad of a list that they can't. Fire their main caliber weaponry. What are you going high explosive for? 
Armor piercing, get some floodings in there. Oh god, they're opening up again. That's it. That's it. We've we've done it, chat. We've done it. <sighs> Although it's not Rhode Island itself, so we can't fully say that we have avenged the Tartaglia, but we've at least proven that we can, with the right circumstances, Avenge the Tartaglia when it comes time to encounter the Rhode Island again. Oh, the Baltimore class. Like the penultimate class of American Heavy Crews, if I remember correctly. Because you had the Baltimores, then you had Des Moines. The Des Moines, which is Des Moines, Newport News, and Salem, which out of those three, only Salem is still around, and Salem is the only heavy cruiser left in the world. Sunk and sunk for very light damage. Here's the thing as well, the Americans will not be able to do a sign of peace treaty until we uh, finish our invasion of the Philippines here. But, yeah, they have had a massive hit dealt against them. being certain of Twitch chat, which people can chat if, in Twitch if they want to because follow only chat is off. One thing is for very certain, any surviving member of the Rhode Island class, if possible, are being taken by us when the peace treaty comes along. Oh no. got the better out of them. Massachusetts, New Jersey, Utah, Virginia, and Vermont. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to be doing a massive turn back. The silence is deafening. Turn back to let them see you again. Actually, no, I mean, uh, run away. We're gonna be doing a French thing here. The most French thing possible for us, and that is to run away. As we're not, we're nowhere near equipped enough to sink her. We. Yet you're best off doing the turn back immediately. Especially considering the fact a lot of you have. Well, some of you are already damaged. Okay, smoke screen, smoke screen, smoke screen. Smoke screen. Smoke screen. 
smoke screen. Run away! Just run the fuck away! Turn the fuck around and run! GTFO! <laughs> no, don't do that! GTFO! They haven't got the memo. GTFO! Here's the thing as well though, here's the thing as well though, Rhode Island, the Rhode Island class of ships, they can go 34 knots so they can outpace us if they want to. They can outpace us, but we, I believe, can outgun them. So. Here's the thing as well. I have a very bad track record with a ship called Taglia in this campaign, so. <laughs> Nita Taglia here is most especially one of the reasons why I'm turning back because the name is a bit of a curse in the Navy. According to the superstitious ones of the Navy, <laughs> it is a curse. Oh yeah, let's get out of here. Let's uh, save the ships from death and damnation. The fleet is coming. <laughs> he was made to rule the waves across the seven seas. To lead the war machine. To rule the waves and lead the creeks marine. Yeah. Bismarck. That's the slow. The terror of the seas. The Bismarck and the Crete Marine. Actually thinking about it chat, the weather has lightened up quite a bit here from when we had a massive rain storm sort of thing. <laughs> it's actually now becoming really sunny. Which makes me think that I could quickly make a I end the stream here and then make a 
trip out to do what I wanted to do, which was um, looking charity shops for more books on either ocean liners or warships. Do you want to know how hard it is though to find in like my local charity shops just the sort of books I'm looking for but are not about battleships like I want something more like the cruises and stuff and in all my times of looking I've only found one that isn't explicitly about battleships since it's instead explicitly about destroyers. Yeah, what I'll do is that three o'clock I will shut off and watch shut off the stream and go do my walk and look at stuff. <laughs> Holy shit, we gave heavy damage to quite a lot of Okay. Okay, you lot head down there because you're the sort of fleet having to replace our ships that we just had to send back. You guys as well. Where did they all go to? A, a whole bunch of them went to Hong Kong, so. Yeah, go there from Hong Kong. The good thing about where I'm placing them is I'm outside of the mine capability of their docks whilst I'm doing this. So. Oh god, I missed the battle, didn't I? Just did. <laughs> Edwin Washington has provoked the Soviet Union. Ah. <sighs> Well, Mr. Washington at the Navy Department has had to explain why a whole bunch of their most modern battleships have been really heavily damaged recently. Especially when in the last war they had proven that they are more than worthy of... Um... More runaway is needed to be done. I thought they would have turned... Back to their docks because of their damage they received from me. Uh, turns out they're not so easily persuaded, what well, dissuaded from fighting. Albedo, the stupid battlecruiser with it, well, the Danish F class battlecruiser with it, and a whole bunch of you guys are running. And while you guys are admiring the genius that is the Danish F class, I am going to go and very quickly get a drink of water and something to eat. As I haven't had lunch, I've only had an Easter egg for breakfast.
Are they using their advanced speed and actually catching up with me? No, they aren't. Okay, I have made my triumphant return to the keyboard. Here's the funny thing I'm actually thinking of. The Albedo design sort of uses something that most people would think in this era of naval warfare isn't that useful, but it has a Qtar has been really useful for me. Approaching my time deadline that I had set for when we stop the stream, but <laughs> yeah, we're tilting ever closer to it. I would like to mention that I will be coming back on stream later but on a different game and also that streaming tomorrow will be a bit on the delayed end because I'm going to be making a trip in Salisbury. <laughs> But seeing as I've actually got viewers here, I think maybe when I end this I will actually do it as a raid and just send the viewers here off to a different channel doing UAD. Netherlands has signed an agreement with us. I did not know that. Then again, I didn't bother properly checking. Now, my hope is that invasion just there is a success and that then the Americans have lost their only port in the Pacific that they could use to resupply their ships within a decent distance to me. just took the Philippines off you. I didn't really care. The 
Yeah, you lot. Ah, oh, our old friend Marblehead. Yeah, I'm just going to move along. Okay, we lost. And that is actually going to be the end of the stream, viewers. Now, I hope you enjoyed this and I can... to Admiral other than myself um yeah I found out there is someone else doing Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought so I'm going to raid you off into there any viewers remaining here so yeah I hope you enjoyed sound service well, actually, we still got 80 something seconds, so, uh. Right, yep, yeah, we're done. Hope you enjoyed Silent Service Going Silent right now.